Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought, oh, I hate my intro. <laughs> How can I do my intro better? I'm gonna keep this in here because I want to do my intro better. I feel like I always just say, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And I just, I don't know, I have to do my intro about 14 times every single time I start a video. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back. Oh, my cup match. That was a great start to my day in the life. Uh, ran out of storage on my... <laughs> on my um, SIM card. Anyway, I was just saying, look how well my mug and my jumper match today. Didn't even do that on purpose. So I am going to be filming a day in the life video today because I always forget to do these and the kids were at school today. So it's actually just like literally a day in my life. Um, later on today, I'm going up to London to a P&O cruises event and we've just been told that Gary Barlow is the new ambassador for P&O so I'm so excited so I really hope that means he's going to be performing there tonight or just going to be there so I can meet him I quite like a bit of Gary Barlow I wasn't a massive take that fan but um like since Gary Barlow's been in the X Factor and things like that I've actually really really grown to like him and I love all his music so I'm going over there about Four o'clock I'll be getting the train, but before that I'm just going to be doing some work around the house. I've made myself a little coffee. Um, it's raining again, shock. Um, so I need to take Lulu for a walk as well. Um, she's just heard me say that. Yeah, so I just thought I would film like what I am doing today. I have got our dinner in the slow cooker. I thought I would show you. I am making a chicken and leek pie for dinner. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a bit funny and it's going a bit croaky. So, basically this morning what I did, I got some chicken, boneless chicken thighs. I think chicken thighs um, in a meal like this have quite a bit more flavour than breasts. So I got six chicken thighs and I just roughly cut those up and fried those off. And then I got a leek, chopped that up and fried that off too. And then I popped it in my slow cooker with half a tub of soft cheese which is, let me see, about 125 grams of soft cheese. I'll write this down below in my description box. And then I put two heaped teaspoons of um, whole grain mustard in. And then I also put a vegetable stock cube in with 300 mils of water. So it really smells good at the moment. And then I'm going to make my own pastry later as well. So I have to do all this before I go to the event later. But this is what it looks like so far. So I have put this on high for three hours. Um, because I want to make my pastry earlier and get it all set before I leave. So I didn't really have time to put it on low for seven hours. So that's our dinner tonight. And um, yeah, that's it. So anyway, I will crack on with the rest of my day and just tell you guys what I'm getting up to as I go along. Right, so the weather's actually cleared up and it's actually a really beautiful day now. I've come out for a walk with Lulu and I haven't even got my coat on. I mean, it's a little bit chilly, but because the sun is shining so much, it's very, very pleasant. Um, so we're just taking Lulu for a little walk now, and bless her, we have to keep her on the lead over here because um, a little while ago there were sheep in this field and they were like surrounded by electric fence and she tried to get in to say hello to the sheep and got electrocuted, not just once, twice. So she's absolutely terrified to come and walk over here, but the sheep have gone now, um, but she's still so scared. So she just waits in one spot and doesn't want to walk because, yeah, she obviously has bad memories of this place, but she had really good memories of it before the sheep ever came into here. So we just keep bringing her over and hopefully one day she'll forget. So she's just on the lead at the moment, um, but we can take her off in a minute. Good girl, come on. Good girl. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself. And I Good see girl. you shining in every color, come resting on. your head in come my on. arms. Good girl. You sing la la la. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it's so muddy. It's been raining so much recently. So squelchy. Right, the boys are home from school now, so they each are allowed half an hour of whatever they want when they get home. So Rory watches probably one of the most ridiculous YouTube channels I've ever seen. Basically, he just watches people playing Minecraft, and then Jamie's on his little like Amazon Fire tablet thing. So, I thought I'd show you what I'm gonna be wearing to this event tonight because I'm dressed. So what do you guys think? Let me show you, right. So basically, I've got like a chunky knit on that's kind of a little bit turtlenecky, and then I've got this dress on underneath. So it is a dress, it's not a skirt, but I've just put this chunky knit over the top. And then I've got these little like boots that I got in the Zara sale the other day. You can't really see, they're blending with my tights. They're kind of like suede material. So yeah, and they're pointed. I thought they looked quite cool so this is what i think i'm wearing um i've got like a vest on underneath and the dress and this jumper so i'm not sure if i should wear a coat but if i do i'll just like wear one over my shoulders so chris says he doesn't like this outfit at all <laughs> he says i look like a granny but i quite like it i feel like i need to just kind of step out of my comfort zone I like the toilet view um yeah i feel like i kind of need to step out my comfort zone because i always just wear jeans and a jumper or jeans and a top or something like that so i thought by Wearing something a little bit different, it might make me, you know, I feel like if I'm going to an event, I can get away with wearing something a bit different. I've put a big chunky, jeepers, that's a big knot. Put a big knot in there, because otherwise this um, jumper is really long, but it actually doesn't look as bad as it does there. <laughs> da, da, da. Right, anyway, I'm wearing this, so yeah, whether I look good or not, by the time this video goes on, I would have been and gone, to, been and come back to the event so um yeah but tell me what you think about this outfit for future wearings um and yeah so i'm gonna get myself ready oh the last bit's ready now and then we're going to go off and the boys are going to drop me off at the station look who i found <laughs> She's got Stop her food. Her yeah. We're just ordered before Kerry got here. <laughs> but she's ordered me some salmon teriyaki, so I'm really excited about that. So I just thought I'd film, film her eating. Drink, oh. Okay. Oh. She just walked into a trunk. <laughs> Lucy just walked into a trunk. <laughs> so we had our Wagamamas. Forgot to show you what I had, but I had like a salmon teriyaki dish. And now we have just got to the P&O Cruises. Um, Event. Event. <laughs> I was, no. was going to say venue. I was going to say venue. That's the word I was looking it's for. It's really cool. It's like an old church. Yeah, look. It's an old church and they've like projected P&O cruisers on there. So we're just going to go in now and um, I'll show you guys around. And that was ruddy. It was very, brilliant. very cool. Oh my god! I literally felt like Gary Barlow was basically singing to us. Yeah, in our living room. Yeah. Um, I loved every single minute of that. Like so there was so much detail in that. I love yeah. the fact that the ice cubes were the way they were. Yeah. And fern, ruddy yeah. <laughs> cotton. My favourite was there. She almost upstaged Gary's. Like, I think she might have done. I said to Lucy, I was like, he's talking about fern. When she was like. When the guy was introducing her, I was like, it's fern, it's fern. She was like, no, it's not, no, it's not. Who walked on? <laughs> fern. Ruddy fern, fern. Cotton. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Anyway, we're back, well, we're heading back home now. I've yeah. a couple of percent. I think the party's just getting started and we're leaving. I know, we're like old grannies. We're like, we need to go to bed. <laughs> Quarter past eight, we were like, ooh, it's getting quite late. <laughs> Let's do a toilet run and then we'll go home. So yeah, but as you can tell, Lucy's lost her voice, basically. Yeah. 
and then my voice is like going so it was about time the old granny's got home so yeah just heading back now and I'll see you when I'm back home right back home had a shower in bed and to top it all off we've got brand new sheets in our bed today like is there anything better than this feeling I've had a lovely shower Whatever time I get home, whether it's like two o'clock in the morning or whatever, I always have to have a shower because otherwise I feel like I'm getting into bed with like dirt on me and stuff. By the time that you, you're like paralytic, male coal, you left your makeup on and slept on the floor. I think I've only ever left my makeup on. <laughs> and I have been very, very drunk, but maybe like twice in my, since I've been with you. Five times. Okay, maybe five times. Five times I reckon I've left my makeup on since being with Chris. That's not many times in 13 years, is it? That's maybe when I had a little bit too much to drink. Anyway, tonight's event was possibly one of the best events I've been to in a long time. I literally felt like Gary Barlow was in my living room without knowing it. Didn't know it before tonight. I'm a Gary Barlow fan. I actually am a Gary Barlow fan. <laughs> I just absolutely loved it. He's such a good performer and he just put on such a good show. So yeah, thanks to P&O for um, having me tonight. Really enjoyed it. And um, they've got a new ship coming out called the Iona. And I think the launch date is going to be the 4th of July. Um, so yeah, I'll have to go to it. Fingers crossed. Um, anyway, he's off to bed already, you can see. He looks so sociable, look at him on his phone, back turned to me. <laughs> Lovely. Good night. Oh, good night, husband. That's what happens when you've been married for nearly 10 years. Um, all right, guys, well, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm off to snuggle in my clean new sheets. See you next time. Bye.